Hey guys, Luke Martin here with this week's Edgewater Property Market Update. Just very quickly, if you or maybe your kids are looking to uh, buy something around the 650 sort of mark, we've got a property on the market right now in Banksia Grove. It's a 43 Outback Road. This is a brand new, so 2023 built, three bedroom, two bathroom with two living areas, backing onto a park. We do have offers pending. You'd need to be looking in the mid 600s to be competitive with where we're currently at. But please do give me a call today if you're watching this. This is Monday that um, we're recording. We're very likely to go under offer later on this evening. So please do get in, give me a call if you'd like more information on that property. But now moving on to Edgewater. So last week guys, no new listings. So it's the second week in a row where nothing new had come up onto the market. Um, but we do have a couple of listings coming through in the not so distant future. So if you're a buyer looking for a four by two in particular, we've got a couple of those in Edgewater, also a couple in Joondalup, um, and I've got a five bedroom home in Sorrento coming to market as well in the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be a busy finish to November. In Edgewater though last week, there was one property that went under offer slash sold off market, which I'll tell you about in a second and also one settled sales result, and that was for 41 Stillwater Way in Edgewater, which I had the pleasure of representing. Um, I've been working with the owners there for well over three years now. Uh, they've been building, their build time just really dragged out, but luckily for them, the market had increased over that time as well, so they weren't losing out on money, which was fantastic. This property, we had almost 70 groups through this home over the first weekend of our campaign, and it has sold uh, after a lot of a lot of interest on this particular home, five bedrooms, two bathrooms, pool out the back, views of the lake from out the front, um, huge garage, and the bedrooms are all really, really generously sized, which is really hard for a lot of buyers to find in Edgewater um, in the majority of the 80s built homes. So this property sold under, you know, like I said, really, really good interest from the market on this one for one million. $250,000, which makes it the second highest settled sale price in Edgewater's residential history to date. So congratulations to my very valued clients there and also to our buyers. They've been looking, they relocated from the Gold Coast some months ago um, and they've been looking at homes with us now since about August. So very pleased for them that they've now got their next property lined up here in WA. Um, what a place to live. Edgewater is absolutely beautiful, guys, and I hope you love your new home. Now, coming back to that property that sold off market this week. So 14 Homestead Gardens, it didn't hit the socials. It did not hit realestate.com or the real estate portals. And that's because it was in no way photo ready. Now, not every property needs a full marketing campaign. Um, this particular property had a couple of unique characteristics. So firstly, the home had been abandoned. So no one had been living here full time or really even part time for the most part for the last two to three years. So it needed a lot of TLC. It, there was a lot of stuff all through the property that would need to be moved in order to get photos really done on the property. Um, you know, lots of stuff in the middle of rooms and that sort of stuff. Um, and it would have taken a really, really long time for my sellers uh, to, to clear those spaces out. It had a 900, it was sitting on a 994 square meter block. So a lot of the garden had also been unfortunately let go. Um, again, the cost to get the gardening done um, for the property then to potentially get knocked over, it just didn't make sense. So we, we invited eight very, very ready to go buyers that, we, that we'd met that were looking for either development or a retain and build to renovate the front property and maybe build at the back, uh, given the dual zoning that the, the block has invited eight of those buyers that we knew through the database through their nurtured buyer relationships. And on the back of that, very, 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 very pleased to say uh, that, we, that we had five offers out of the eight attendees who viewed the property, which is a really, really good conversion rate there. So this property is now sold. It was a cash offer. Nothing can fall over. It was sold as is, where is a very original three by one on a 994 square meter block this property is now sold for $777,000. So massive congratulations to my sellers. Thank you very much for entrusting me with your property. And to our buyer who we've met a few times now, looking for something exactly like this, we're very pleased to have been able to bring you the opportunity that match what you're looking for. And if anyone else is watching this today and has a property that sort of meets those sorts of characteristics, very original, needs a bit of work, 
on a good block size with you know potential for rezoning. So a retain and build or a knockover and um, land development site. We do have buyers that missed out um, that are very, very keen to buy another property like this. So do give us a call if your property would suit. That's all for this week, guys. Like I said, we've got a number of properties coming to market very shortly. So do make sure that you're on our SMS list or you're following me on socials. It's the first place I post all of the coming soons. Have a fantastic week. If you'd like to know what your property's worth, as always, give me a call 0419 769 529. Have a fantastic week. I'll speak to you again next Monday.